Hey, hey, Drunk Spider-Man here, and yes, I am back, and uh, welcome to Space Engineers. So, I got everything figured out with my shadow play, as in it just started working the last up after the last update. So, I don't know, I don't know what was going on. Uh, neither did the techs I was talking to, because I was talking to some techs about you know what was going on and the technical issues and whatnot. But they seem to have no idea either. Uh, but uh, regardless, it's working again, so I'm not complaining at all. So uh, yeah, this is Planets and Space Engineers. This is my first little atmospheric ship here. Uh, it's not really a fighter, even though it's got Gatling guns on it. They wouldn't classify it as a fighter because it's like really not securely put together. <laughs> it doesn't hold up too well in a fight, is what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, it's kind of my first playing around with uh, atmospheric thrusters. And uh, it turns out they have a less, like, because I do have thruster damage on, by the way. And it turns out they have less of a, uh, uh, I guess, like a damage radius than uh, than the regular uh, ion thrusters. So you can actually make these really cool little, like, thruster housings um, that I think look really sweet. Yeah. And I actually decided to put brakes on the ship. I was toying with it, and then I tried to fly it without having, like, uh, forward facing uh, thrusters. And uh, that wasn't good. It not the best thing to maneuver with. So you got three of the large ones facing forward, you got uh, 12 of the, uh, the small ones keeping you up, uh, which you need a lot of. Like if you lose a couple, this thing does not uh, does not float. It's surprisingly, well I wouldn't say surprisingly heavy, but it's still pretty heavy for a little ship like this. As you can see, it's uh, um, on the bottom right hand corner, you can see the weight. So. Uh, I, it's being powered by one large reactor, and it's got two gyros on it. So, like, it, it's a little tight little, you know, like, when you first land on a planet to, uh, to throw it together real quick. Uh, quick and dirty. I just got, like, a spotlight on it, but you can replace the light with a ore detector. There's also plenty of room on the bottom to put other stuff that you need. So, like, if you need to put, like I said, an ore detector, landing gear, and whatnot underneath, you can. Uh, it's just a little nice little, uh, cruising around ship which I felt like showing off because I really enjoy how it ended up. Ooh, oh, oh, freaking out. Camera, co cooperate please, thank you. I'm actually going to take her in low so I can uh, show you what's going on. Because, like I said, they're one of the biggest reasons why this thing... Oh, no, no! Yeah! Yeah, that went well. One of the biggest reasons why this isn't a... Uh, uh, why I'm not calling this thing a fighter is for that exact reason. The second any of it starts taking damage, it just kind of falls apart. Um, as you can see, if I start putting bullet holes, um, like because it like just just looking at the construction of it, all that's holding these struts together is thrusters and these uh, slanted armor blocks. So like, there's really not anything holding everything together. Uh, and normally I won't I wouldn't even have um, have these uh, gats on the front so it's already falling apart um, yeah paste another one because uh, like I said like if you're not planning on it being a quote-unquote like fighter defense ship you don't really need those on the front but the only thing holding this thing together are the large thrusters in the back which didn't have before like I said because I didn't have reverse like reversing thrusters, but uh, I definitely needed them for this bad boy. But uh, it does, it's quite quite a little nippy ship, all things considered. Um, it's got four Gatling guns, so it does actually turn out a fair amount. Her, the only issue is uh, I have no way of supplying it. Uh, I, I don't have a repair system, so in survival, you got what you got, can hold in each of the mags for these things. So. I can't remember what that exact number is, but I think it also depends on what the uh, uh, inventory size is to whatever server you're playing on. So, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Uh, one of the other downsides of the ship is it can't hover sideways. Uh, I'll take her up a little bit, so hopefully I don't crash. But, um, if I tilt her on her side, you only have the three thrusters trying to hold it up, which it cannot. So you can't do any crazy rolls, at least close to the ground. You have to keep her up. But it can hover vertically. Uh, because of those large thrusters, they will hold it up, which is nice. Um, so you can actually like shoot ground targets. Um, 
which I actually like, uh, which is one of the reasons why I put those down facing thrusters on. Um, her recovery speed isn't the best either, which is kind of a bummer. As you can tell by my initial crash landing, if you don't get those thrusters in firing quick enough when you're on a downward trajectory, it can get real messy. Um, and I don't have any landing gear on it yet, so um, uh, just because I couldn't find some place to put it aesthetically. Um, I might try to sneak in near the back though, if they're sit low enough, but anyway, uh, I just thought I'd make a really quick video, you know, saying what's up, basically saying that I'm back in the game, and uh, stay tuned for probably a bunch of Fallout 4 stuff, because uh, I've been playing that game entirely too much as um, people have probably noticed, but not as much as some other people, but uh, I'm probably going to post some, some videos in there and try to keep it out of the spoiler range, because I know some people might not have got it when it first got released, so um, I don't talk too much about the main storyline. I might do a couple side quests, though, just because, uh, hopefully with Nick Valentine, because he's one of my favorite characters, one of my favorite NPCs in that game. So, uh, anyway, uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, make sure to tell muffins, because a lot of people like muffins. Maybe even cupcakes, because they're like, they're like muffins, but they're cakes and delicious. Anyway, we interrupt this regular scheduled outro to bring you my face. Also something I forgot to say in the video, which is thank you. Uh, I have 36 subscribers and no one left in these three months that it took me to get everything figured out, which is awesome. Like, awesome. So thank you everyone so much for sticking around with me, you know, dealing with the fact that I wasn't uploading during that time. Like, you know, I tried to tried to stay kind of active. Like, I was posting on my social media accounts, which are in the description below. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, just thanks for putting up with me, and uh, I'll let you get back to the outro with the good old uh, bye!